According to the legislators, the summoning of the Zonal Director of FEMA, Engineer Ogro Richard Agro, became necessary in order to know federal rules in the state and the limit some persons from Edo State can extort money from unsuspecting motorists. To let us know who, under the law, is or are supposed to manage and control traffic on these roads. The Edo State Government, are they permitted by law to collect revenue on federal roads? As to questions from legislators, the former Zona Director, Engineer Ogri Richard Agro said, Akpukpava through Agbo to Asaba, Benin Abraka Road, Donsin Lagos Road, Sapler Road to Worry, among others, are federal roads. He said the state agency does not have any right to extort money from motorists plying the said roads, which negates the law as the surveillance unit of FEMA is vested with the responsibility to curtail such ugly trends. These issues, especially when I got the resolution from here, I've sent letter to headquarters, to the legal section. <laughs> because these are people have confronted them several times. They were so ferocious. The PDP speaker, Festus Ibea, after listening to his suggestion from the member representing Igweb and constituency Kingsley Egyamusoy that the head of the surveillance unit be summoned against the backdrop of the revelation from the FEMA boss, directed that the head of surveillance appear in the House on September 22nd. The head federal rule surveillance against road abuse at those state chapter should be invited on Monday next week. Monday the 22nd of September 2014 at 10 a.m. In another development, the PDP Legislative House has called on the Edo State Government to compensate traders whose goods were allegedly burned by the officials of the Ministry of Environment, led by the Permanent Secretary in the Sonora market some months ago. This was after consideration of the report stating that goods worth 200 million naira were burned. The resolution also stated that the state government should reprimand the officials responsible for such acts and where the local government should provide alternative markets for the traders in order for them to continue their trade. Efosa Wangwe reporting.